The other big story today, thousands of Marikana workers are facing retrenchment. Sibanya Stillwater, formerly Lonman, has confirmed that more than 5,000 jobs are at risk. The mining company took control of the loss-making Marikana Platinum Mine as part of its acquisition of Lonman, which was completed in June. Well, to tell us more about what's going to happen, I'm joined in studio by Sibanya spokesperson James Welster. James, good evening. Evening. And thanks for your time. So all this talk, are you confirming, just, just for clarity, that over 5,000 jobs, 5,000 people are going to lose their jobs? Uh, it's not confirmed. Uh, the Section 189 process that we enter into from here on mm. is a mandatory 60-day consultation with affected stakeholders, being the unions and employees, where we try and find alternatives to the retrenchments and closures and mitigate job losses. So th that's what we'll engage on. Uh, of the next 60 to 90 days. So it's not confirmed that over no, 5,000 people... But, but they are potentially at risk. But that would be the number, 5,270 to be correct. precise. So you say you en enter into this Section 189 process uh, to try and look at other ways. So I'm wondering, are you really going to be looking at other ways? Is this just a formality to say, yes, we've done this? You know, often trust is an issue where we, when it comes to negotiations, when it comes to unions, when it comes to, to, to mine bosses as well. Or will you really, really be looking and, and what are the other possibilities? So we've we've been through a number of restructurings over the, the, the last few years and in many instances there are solutions and alternatives so for instance at Beatrix uh, which was one of our gold mines in 2013 mm. we went through a section 189 where we ended up keeping the operation going and it's still operating at this point so there, there are successful outcomes um, in this instance it's not certain because these shafts are quite old the ones that have, we've scheduled for potential closure, uh, 30 to 40 years old, and they've basically run out of reserves. Um, we did review the entire operation. Uh, in 2017, Lonman uh, suggested that there might be 12,600 jobs at risk. Mm. We've done a full review, and we are going to keep some of the operations going. For instance, K, uh, 4B shaft, which will preserve about 2,700 jobs. Mm. But unfortunately, the, the ones that you've uh, indicated, E1, W1, and Hossi, are at the end of their reserves and operating So there's hours. nothing to find? About there's very, yeah, nothing there's to look for. Nothing to mine, basically. Yeah. Isn't there any other way to, to, to use this, this manpower, to, to use these mine workers anywhere else? Well, this is what we'll engage with the unions about, is to try and look for alternatives, find out where we can uh, accommodate them. It's very sad, actually, that this is the, where we find ourselves, because originally Lonman would have been developing some additional projects, deeper mines, that would have accommodated this, uh, these employees. But because of the financial situation they found themselves in, they were unable to spend that money and develop those projects, and now there's just nowhere for them to go at the moment. Aren't you able to develop those projects now? Well, but it would take some years because it's about, uh, you know, three, four years behind mm. uh, where it should be. So unfortunately, the timing, it just doesn't allow for it. So in this process that uh, you will be uh, engaging in the, one, the Section 189 process, would you be able to say that, that you would be able to save, if possible, the possibility to save majority of these jobs, or they will still be? some job losses? Because the, the shafts are, have run out of uh, ore reserves, um, the, there's a, a strong likelihood of significant job losses, but we will certainly do what we can to try and mitigate and limit the, uh, the losses that uh, do occur. So in the case that you have to retrench, and you will be, you're saying some, some, some people are going to lose their jobs, what kind of compensation do you think you might be offering at the Listen, that's, that's also part of the process that we have to discuss with the unions. So we look at all of those things, voluntary separation, early retirement, often is an alternative to outright retrenchment, uh, moving uh, uh, employees to other operations that, that we've got, and then also obviously the compensation uh, still has to be negotiated. And if you have to retrench, when would it be? Well, the 60-day period starts today. We've given notice today. Effectively, uh, in terms of the competition authority's moratorium on retrenchments, uh, following the Lonman acquisition, uh, we can only really retrench after the 7th of December. So it'll probably push through into the new year. It's going to be the worst time, I suppose. For yeah, I mean, listen, there's never a good time, and it's certainly not a decision we've made lightly. But as I said, it's an unfortunate position. And Lonman, on its own, as a standalone, had, was probably not a going concern. Uh, you know, they generated significant losses in the last nine months. Um, and as part of Sabanya, while there may be some job losses now, going forward we'll save over 20,000 jobs and we can sustain those jobs for longer. So.
So I, I would imagine that that that, that you know workers <coughs> are are not going to take this um, lightly, and I would imagine that uh, AMCU, uh, a union you already have a very uh, volatile relationship with as well, is is, is uh, this is not going to help that relationship? Are you prepared for the fight? Listen, no, it's it's not a fight. I mean, we're yes. hoping that that AMCU and the other unions will come with constructive alternatives and that we can work with together to find a, an outcome that's uh, beneficial for all of us. Um, this is not a surprise to the unions because, as I said, Lonman already indicated these job losses in 2017 and amcu has been appealing the transaction uh, over the last year, delayed, you know, the transaction took 18 months to close. So they're very aware of the fact that these jobs were at risk uh, and the competition authorities, the DMR or everyone has been made aware of this for at least the last two years. So when do you start your Section 189 process? Well, it starts today with the notice that we've given to yeah. the unions and we'll start engaging over the course of the next 60 days. Okay, thanks very much for your time there. That's uh, Sibanye spokesperson James Welster just uh, enlightening us on why they've had to make such a move and hopefully it won't amount to the numbers uh, that uh, have been released today.